What's up, turtles? Crick here with Black Eye Outdoors, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Fjall Raven Steuben Pack. You see that? There's a flying ant, and it looks like it just shed its wings. <laughs> wow, I've never seen that before. All right, so here's the pack sitting up full, and if you're not sure exactly why this pack is so cool. Hang around for a little bit. Let's just get into the specs of this pack though. So it's made from G1000 heavy duty and it is waxed. This pack has a frame in it. You can sit on it and I will show that and use it. But looking at the top, we have a front pocket right here. And it's not the largest pocket, but definitely big enough for, there's a cell phone in there. I have my field notes, leather cover that I make and sell. And there's a head, headlamp floating around in there. Single zipper on that. Moving down from that, there's another pocket on the front, which is larger, more generously sized. I have a carving knife, a more carving knife in there. Ben Orford hook knife, potential carving project. And what else? Oh, I got my compass. So yeah, nice pocket on the front, two nice pockets on the front. There's another small pocket on the top lid of this pack. <clears throat> and it's, you know, usable as a pocket. You could put a, a map or something really thin in there that you don't want to crush because you're meant to sit on the top of it. But what I just rolled out is a you know, waterproof seat cover. Because like I said, this pack is meant for sitting on. <laughs> and it's actually connected with two snaps, one on each side. That way, if you are gonna pull this out and you're gonna be sitting on it getting up and down, the snaps will just keep it in place so it's not moving all around like so. I'm taking a look at the back of the pack now. Grab handle that I just used to turn it around. Take a look at these nice shoulder straps. And I'm calling them nice because they're very comfortable and generously padded. You know, it might be difficult to pick up on camera to show you know the padding so i'm trying to squish and see that there is a decent amount of give adjustable sternum strap as well sliders rails on each side this is a day pack with a bushcraft slant this pack was i believe originally intended for ice fishing go out there and you know create a hole in ice you can sit down on your bag at the same time but there are these two little tabs on each side if you want to attach a hip belt just to keep the pack tight to your body. It's really not gonna be offering any load support, but the option is there if you want it. Taking a look at the back of the pack now. There's nice padding right here. There's nothing in the middle, but on the corners right here is where the actual metal frame is in this bag. So you're not gonna be getting really any airflow, but again, just keep in mind what this pack is designed for. Taking a look at the bottom of the pack, it is reinforced for water and abrasion. I'm not sure exactly what this black material is. Moving to the side of the bag, these pockets are an additional cost. They do not come with the bag. Right now, this pack on Fjall Raven's website is $270 US. The pockets for two of them is $40. But in my mind, these pockets add so much utility that I believe they're 100% worth it. You got another grab handle on top of this. Have a small saw, small pull saw that I haven't done a video on. And I have my camera jammed in here in a Maxpedition M1 pouch. And it's a pretty, it's a pain to get this in there, but just for size reference. And these pockets attach to the pack with the same toggle method that we've shown you on the Freeloof Forest, I believe the pack is we reviewed for their bird bag. They use the same system. And I have carried full 40 ounce bottles in here, but it's something I probably won't continue to do. I just wanted to see if this could hold it and it would stretch at all. So what I've been doing, just carrying a smaller water bottle on the outside, and then if I want to carry more, the larger one goes on the inside. Take a look at the other side of the bag now. And you can carry an ax with this. And let me show you this other handle, grab handle. And what this is for, is if you're sitting on the bag, they're really easy to pick it up and move it. And I'll show that once I get down on it. But if you do want to carry an ax with this bag, this grab handle works really well 
just like you would be doing an ice axe, attaching that to your bag. You can slide the handle up, sort of twist it on itself, and then I can slide this behind the pocket and pay attention right here as I move the handle down through that. All the way the axe is now on the grab handle and not on the pocket to be adding more weight on these toggles. The top lid stays closed with these two leather straps with these little button studs. And here you actually see the seat now. There's actually some padding on the top of this and the storm collar keeps the seat uh, in its place. Now you can see when I loosen this, take it down, a little shifty to it, and it's removable. Just held on with some hook and loop. I keep it on. For me, this pack, this pack's, you know, winning feature or the reason why I chose to review this pack as Fjall Raven sent this to us was because of this frame. See the inside of the bag, blades orange, and that just makes it really easy in low light to see the contrast of the different items or gear you have in the bag. All right, I'm gonna get the bag buttoned up now, get it on the ground and show you how I've been using it specifically. This is the money maker with this bag. The fact that you can take it off your back, sit it on the ground, and you already have a place to sit. All of the pockets and even the inside of the bag are accessible while you're sitting on the pack. I don't even use the top load feature most of the time because I'm out here, sit my bag down, I want to get in it. I can just pull on this corner right here and there's two zippers on that. Opens up that front flap. So now I can get into pretty much everything I need without opening up the top of the bag. And you can see the zipper on this side that I'm pulling up. And there's one running this way. And honestly, I don't even zipper this one most of the time because when you pull the lid over it, put it there, it's covered up. But for posterity, you can zipper it back up. Good to go. So the frame is removable. And I had someone ask me about that in a previous video. So I'm addressing your comment. I forget who you are, but I have not taken the frame out. I messed around with it for a little bit and I decided it was going to be more work than it was worth because to me, the frame in this pack is the whole reason why this pack is so great. And without the frame, it would still be an amazing looking bag, all of that considered, but I have other packs if I don't want to carry the weight of the frame because empty, this pack weighs about five pounds. Volume, it's about 27 liters. And then with the pockets, you're probably going to get, you know, close to 30 liters. And as I mentioned before, this pack is expensive, especially when you're adding the pockets as well. And that's just in line with everything Fjall Raven makes. But on this channel, I've never said, this is a product you need to buy. This is what you need to enjoy the outdoors. We're just showing you gear that's sent to us, stuff that we buy, and let you make an informed decision after our video if you think it's worth your hard-earned money. But let me know what you think about this product if y'all are even in general, if you have any questions about this, I know some of you have already commented that own this pack and have told me how much you love using it. As always, thank you for watching. My brother and I are really excited coming into this part of the year. We have a lot of plans, a lot of ideas for videos, things we're really, really excited about. Thanks to our patrons on Patreon. Your support on there means a lot to us. Till the next video, this is Crick with Black Owl. Later, turtles. Sounds great.